looking for their return to the national championship for the first time since 2017. Second seeded Hardy SPN Plus, the second coming up at 3.30 Eastern. Top seeded Colorado School of Mines and fourth seeded Kutztown. But, and we are underway in the national semifinals. Bouncing kick taken at the 10. Deary Rogers gets a block across the 35. Two flags come in. To get McGee for a tackle for loss. White to throw on second down. Over the middle. It's complete to Keelan Parsons, who gets back to the 21. Call it a gain of eight. And over Valdosta State on the road. Third and nine. White has time. Goes to the sideline. Knocked away. Incomplete. Ty Duggar. First. Bison's able to survive after they trailed 6-0 late in the game. Again, De La Cruz. And he gets inside the 30 down to the 29. Another three yards. John Ross for his career. Pitch goes on the motion to Jalen Spicer, who gets the first down inside the 25. And Harding moves the chance. Erickson, the tight end in there. It's a design keeper for Keelan, and he has a crease down to the 16-yard line. A healthy pitch. He gets the dirty yards for this Harding team. Keelan keeps it, runs into May around the 7. Call it a gain of... De La Cruz breaks a tackle and May plants him at the three. A big third down and goal coming up. This opening drive at the plus 36. It's third and goal. De La Cruz, did he get the goal line? No, he's just Ooh, short. I think he's on. This is all about leverage. Who is going to get lower? Key line, sneak. Did he get in? The officials no run in. Cole Keelan's 10th rushing touchdown in his last The Bisons took over at the Lenore Ryan 36 and made the Bears pay. Nine plays, 36 yards, all on the ground. Position on each of the two Bisons drives. Keelan keeps it, finds a pitch man, Omar Sinclair, who goes to the outside and lunges into Lenore Ryan territory. Second and five for the 49. De La Cruz up the middle. De La Cruz breaks a tackle. De La Cruz inside the 25. Percy. Keelan keeps it, gets a good block on the outside from Sinclair and goes down to the 16 yard line. On third down and two. Keelan, keeper all the way, and he's down to the 10. Tackle by Malik Taylor, who has been active on the. Uh, Chafee, you might want to get some movement up front, right? Try to get them second guessing, but. <laughs> Taylor out easy as you like, and Harding has a two score lead on the board. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe that's a start for Harding. A three and out for the Nor Rhine, a touchdown, an onside kick, and De La Cruz makes it 14 nothing. Everybody comfortable into the game right here is a run play. I think it's very smart. The Wayne McGee gets about five yards, but again, you don't want it to drop back and pass because you got Wallace get seven or eight possessions the whole game, mate. Quickly to the outside, here's Rodgers, who's great in space. Harding closes it down and gang tackles at the 28. Time. Team would be ready for this challenge today against Harding. Third and eight. White connects for the first down with Sanga Yates out to the 43. Major first down just to hold on to some possession for Lenore Ryan. White's well protected. White going deep into single coverage for Yates, who's got it inside the 12. Hasn't made a field goal since October. And it's blocked. Another block kick for Harding. Ball still loose and bounds out of bounds. But you yet doing it. De La Cruz up the middle. De La Cruz is loose again. Blake De La Cruz in a foot race. Inside the 20 and he's knocked out. So already has eight carries for 99 yards. Keelan keeps it all the way. Going behind Andrew Miller, one of the backup B-backs. And he's inside the 15. And Harding. Handoff goes to Miller, who bowls ahead inside the 10. The oh, ball, ball came out. out. The Bears say they have it. Second and long for the Bears. White from his own goal line goes to the flat for McGee. Makes a move in the backfield. Breaks a couple of tackles. And Dwayne McGee with a burst. Stop to get their offense back on the field. Keelan fakes to De La Cruz. Has a first down and stumbles inside the 35 to move the chain to Lenore for his spot when they were recruiting him. But ultimately what they loved about him is he's just a winner. He's tough. He does the right things. Speaking of tough, De La Cruz, the Wheaton set has the best. Of but he didn't get paid. He coached for free for the first seven years. The last six years he has been getting paid. But another thing that's interesting is he only comes to practice on Tuesday and Wednesday. 
Pitch goes to Sinclair, and he can't get away from the tackle of Sidarius Kelly. Maybe a... Keelan keeps. Keelan inside the Ooh. 10. Keelan turns his legs down to the 5. First down and goal for Harding. Three of four third downs. Quick snap. De La Cruz, second touchdown today. touchdowns for Blake De La Cruz this season. De La Over 100 Cruz. yards in the first half already. Look at him go. Empty on second and ten. Four-man rush. White to the sideline. Connects with Lester who spins across the 35. A gain of four and it sets up a blitz from Harding. White protected over the middle, complete to Lester, who has the first down to the 45, where he's planted by Zach Str To put this Bears offense in third and long. White steps up. White flushed, throws middle again, and it's caught by Lester, but he's short of the sticks. Right at the 40-yard line, it'll be... Elon, his second pass goes to the flat for Jay. Not a lot to work with, and he gets close to midfield. Four yards for Braden Jay, you'd think. Jay gets the toss. Jay has a seam. Jay breaks free, and he's all the way down to the 11-yard line. A big carry for Braden. Lenore Ryan has gotten. Taylor Cruz again. Bulls inside the five, and he's down around the two. Blake De La Cruz once, Blake De La Cruz twice, Blake De La Cruz to the one. Andre Jefferson, good stop. Yeah, about it. This Harding offense was able to get into the end zone late in the fourth quarter. De La Cruz again, he's buried right at the line. John Ross May was first to get to him. No gain for De La Cruz. Extend this league. It's going to be tough for the Bears. What a play call. Braden Jay, airborne touchdown. Ninth rushing touchdown of the season for Brady. Already, you're out leveraged right now. You see, there's nobody on the edge. And then even though they did get over the top, look at the effort by Brandon Jay. I'm, like you said, that you kind of almost have to go for broke right now if you're this Bears team. Good route by Yates, who pulls it in. Contested catch against Duggar. And it's a gain of Four-man rush. White has had time. Delivers on the outside, and it's caught by the... Big receiver Keelan Parsons still has all three of his timeouts as well. Second and three. White under pressure. White is spun down. Terrell Watson got Four men up at the line for Harding. Pressure on White. He throws to the outside for Yates who makes the catch. White to throw. White steps up, throws over the middle, and it's caught by Lester right at the sticks. They're going to mark him a yard. Clock running again. Four-man rush. White connects over the middle. Out of the backfield with his running back, Zaire Dillard. First touch for the back. Final 30 seconds. White goes deep, and it's caught by Parsons Ooh. at the 15. Was their number one receiver last year. That was some injuries, but that was a big-time catch from him. To the tight end, Godwin. He's out of bounds around the five. So Lenore Ryan still has those. Dillard, the ball carrier. Dillard to the goal line. Touchdown, Touchdown. Bears. The offensive line looks slow to respond to the snap. Surprised they go a little bit more hurry, spread offense for the rest of the game because it seemed like Sean White was really in a rhythm during that. Harding kick return unit. Jay will take it from the 11-yard line. Jay Ooh. has a seam. Look at Brayden to Lenore Ryan oh, he's territory. Gone. He's and gone. He's gone. Wow. They should have went onside. Talked about his skill set from the slot back position. He's the leading receiver on his team. I talked about how good it was. Came last season against Southern Nazarene, and this one 89 yards as well. And it's a nice job by Chauncey Martin, right? The other slot back. And ooh. Jay in motion. De La Cruz gets the first carry, and he bulls across the 30. Six yards for Blake De La Cruz. Devin Hibbert on the tackle. And you hear it point up, because we talked to defensive coordinator Sean Chaffee about that, because you can't really cut block in practice, right? You really don't want to get too physical in practice, especially throughout the playoffs. First and 10. Keelan to throw. Keelan deep ball wide open. Roland Wallace is going to go. 65 yards. Talked all week long to defensive coordinator Sean Chafee about. 
Extra point is good from Ennis. Roland Wallace this season had two per game. He threw for over 300 versus uh, Benedict. So this is a guy that can sling it. Parsons makes the catch. Butler hits him right away. They'll mark it at the 20. Rodgers motions to the backfield. Rodgers gets it out of the backfield. Has a first down and more across the 30 and into the Harding sideline after a gain of 11. He's in all three phases and just has not been able to stop Harding. White deep ball, and it's pulled in by Lester on the run. Lester dragged down from behind by Butler. All conference, right? He positioned himself right in the referee's <laughs> eyesight. Connection on the catch to Rodgers, who had the first down for a moment. Looked like he might have surrendered his four. Godwin in motion. White bobble to snap. Goes to the outside for Lester. Nothing there, and he's driven out of bounds. Clark Griffin had the tackle. Second and goal. White off play action. White pressure and hit as he throws, and low and incomplete looking for Godwin. Not a single hand on the ground for Harding. They bring four. One Ooh. on one, not close to Lester, incomplete. And a promising Lenore Ryan driving. Bisons who take over at their own eight. Keelan keeps it. Keelan across the 15, still going across the 20. Cole Keelan. Cole Keelan was a guy that, that not only was he a winner, but he was going to have that, that stick to it mentality with it. Pitch to Chauncey Martin. Look at him drive his legs across the Ford. And each one of these guys is unselfish, right? Because no one knows which game is going to be their big game, but they all go out there and do their job. It's Cole Keelan's big drive, and he's inside the 20. It's starting to wear on you. That's why it's so hard to defend this flex bone offense. Chauncey Martin, an easy trot into the end zone. Another score for the Bisons, 48 to 7. Harding, 330 rushing yards as a team. We still got five minutes to go in the third quarter. Bisons he's giving up that score right before half, but again, Brandon, Braden, Jay did a really good job of stealing the momentum back. Little reverse to Lester, who comes around and gets to the 40. McGee, Yates wants oh. to throw it this time. It's all covered up, and oh, Clark man. Griffin got him. Second sack. Bringing, triggering and getting downhill in a hurry. Four-man rush. White well protected. Goes to Godwin short. Godwin hit right away and dropped at the 44. So what, 100 yards from where they're snapping the football? Maybe less than that. <laughs> Gets it again for a first down. Yeah, what, 36 yards to the end zone, another 10. The pitch goes to Stone Sheffield, who breaks a tackle. Holding a man off, gets out of bounds. Play with his four wide receivers. Four-man rush, pressure right away, and he airmailed Yates. It's intercepted. Troy Wiseman got the pick. Second of the year for the... Young keeps it and carries inside the 20. Slipped one tackle down around the 15. It'll be second down and one. Second and one. Miller the handoff, and he gets the first down to the 13. Young took it for nine yards because they'll be playing for a national championship for the first time. Miller down to the one. But also because there's a big alumni base for Harding in Dallas. Young on the pitch to Chauncey Martin. Martin to the edge, and he's strung out at the one. Harding on this drive. Miller, goal line, touchdown. Got in there. Andrew Miller's sixth rushing touchdown of the season. It's all but won by at least 31 points. First two playoff games were both one-point wins. Not today. It's a opportunity and never look back, but they have a lot of faith and trust in Jalen Ferguson as well. He does a really good job of completing intermediate passes, and that's how he'll be able to dis uh, distribute the ball. Parsons in motion. Low snap. Ferguson took it well. Slings it out to Lester, who makes the catch at the 45. And goes down. Yates in motion. Ferguson off the play fake. Wants to go deep for Lester. He's got it in stride. DeAndre Lester stumbles to the 5, oh, to the goal line. Touch that uh, DeAndre Lester definitely stayed in bounds and got the ball across. But another good job by Jalen Ford. A lot of these quarterbacks will lead that receiver up the field, but he does a good job leading him across the field away from the safety. And then DeAndre Lester, look at the fight. Plus, as Harding goes back to work, 
And the handoff goes to the third B-back they've used in this game. Good run by Josh Strickland, Jr. Hard enough to stop this flex bone offense. So first and foremost, that should be the emphasis for those coaches that are watching film, getting ready to prepare for Harding in the championship game, right? It's Ross on the design keeper. Ross Ooh. slips a couple of tackles, still driving into Lenore Ryan territory. <laughs> Paul Simmons taking his headset off on the sideline with more than three and a half minutes to go in the game. Chauncey Martin is loose inside the 40, and he's down to the 38. You know, talking about Kenny... Like everything is slowed down for them. Ross, the keeper, on third and one. He has a first down to the 29-yard line. Another eight yards. Getting ready to make the trip to Little Rock tonight for Harding Academy, playing for the state title. Ross goes down to the 20, maybe the 19, right around a first down. I think they're going to give it to him. On this run game, right, it's almost kind of like Thanos, right? Inevitability. They are going to run the ball. Can you be disciplined enough to stop the run from Harding? 14-0, and for the first time in school history, Harding will play for a Division II national. Congratulations to Harding going to Texas next week to play in a Division II championship game. That'll be one missed extra point and one fumble in the red zone. Outside of that, tough to find anything to criticize for the Bisons who move. The Harding Bisons rolled Lenore Ryan 55 14.